So most filmmakers know that B-roll is essential, but a lot of people get into the trap of really formulaic B-roll, sort of rehearsing shots they already know. The hero shots, close-ups, maybe it's just somebody working on their computer. But at the end of the day, it's really important to make sure that you take time before your shoot to formulate what your story is, what story you want to tell. That is going to inform what B-roll shots you should be looking for. It's also important to remember to start wide and then move closer into the subject that you're shooting. That way, in post, they can develop a sequence out of your B-roll and tell the story visually with shots. As opposed to just throwing together a bunch of pretty looking images, it's very important that you focus on how those images are telling the story of your subject. A lot of people fall into the trap of using interview sound bites to tell most of their story, and they sort of leave B-roll by the wayside, but that is not what you should do. B-roll has its own complementary story to tell, and if you do your due diligence beforehand, you'll know exactly what sort of shots you need to look for on location to tell that story. Now get out there and start shooting, and remember, always prepare B-roll shots. No, no winging it. When they say wing it, I say lose it, baby.